Hi teammates, let's dive into some mysteries. We're going to be looking at the film The Hunter, 1980 film. The Hunter, 1980. Ralph Papa Thorson. Wow, what a name. That's played by Steve McQueen. And Ralph Papa Thorson equals the tear symbolism of the guy that puts his hand in the mouth of the wolf. And the 65 symbolism is also what that means. And Ralph represents kind of like the Smith and the Smith represents kind of like Thor, you know, so we're seeing those some, I've made that connection before. We're seeing those similarities and this is like the Papa, which is like, um, you know, the guy that comes into the throne of the gods and sets everything right or something. One of the judges, you know, so. So right off the bat, what I'm trying to say is right off the bat, you have symbolism of this guy means business right off the bat. He's got arms of people or doesn't have an arm. You know, he he's um, he's into the gematria or the signs of the times. You know, something's going on with this guy and he's played by Steve MC and Steve's queen. Okay, so that means he saw the four Tobias Eden symbolism and the Steve MC, which is represented by Le Leviathan symbolism, the car, the black hole, so to say. So you have, he's a bounty hunter and he's a bad driver. So he might not be in charge of his emotions fully. He's struggling with um, baldness or something like that, like dual dual spirit or something. So Tommy Price equals Levar Burton. They become friends. I believe that represents the woman um, of Revelation 17 because it's leave our burr on, which is like Lilith symbolism. It's not necessarily Eve. It's more like Lilith. She's the mother of the giants. Houston encounter, big guy Billy Joe, beanbag stun gun, won't stop him. That's the uh, Helen Hunt symbolism. That's the guitarist symbolism, the Ben figure. Dottie, his wife in the film is named Dottie. Now get this, Dottie in recent times is played by Juno Violet Temple. Okay, that can be either Revelation 9.15 or Foe High Dumb, okay? That means like she doesn't go along with the fallen angels in their high business. But get this. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute. Thorson works for Richie Blumenthal. Eli Wallachy. Okay. That equals Groxt in middle of first both seat and detailed arc seat. Groxt in the middle of those um, with his gold and black ship that's in the middle of those two seats, his pirate ship on the southeast of the underworld planet. Rocco Mason is the psycho who kidnaps Dottie. Um, Catherine Harold is, it plays Dottie. Okay. So that's just like, um, the church for the Jezebel spirit, very tricky hair rolled. Found out the secrets when she was high. Okay, that's what that represents there. Take all this to the Lord. See how this is different. Catherine Harold is different from Juno Violet Temple. Okay, they're different. Combine machine used by Thorson against Branch Brothers in Nebraska. The Branch Brothers represent my channels Brock the Rock and Mountain Dew Lemon. Dottie takes Thorson to LeMay's class. He gets kind of sick of it. Um, Captain Spada commits suicide. Richard Venture. Um, that's the two pits. The two pits of this character. The Isaiah 51 character. Bernardo in Chicago. They even tie in the commit suicide with the Sawzall Blade incident. Which happened when my grandparents had just come to visit um, from Chicago. And my grandma's name is Bernie um 
No weapon, Thorson floods the classroom with flammable gas. When Rocco shoots, he lights it up. I guess Dottie works at a uh, school, and that's where the final showdown was, and he had Dottie as a hostage. But Thorson, no weapon, just like Luke Skywalker, no weapon in uh, the new Star Wars movies. And then Dottie gives birth at the end of the film. So, um, you know, and just like the fire with the flammable gas, just like the, it could be, you know, the, the angel that has the power over fire and the blood comes out to the horse bridles and all that. Um, in Revelation, um, which is like sweating blood is what that is. So I don't know if this has already happened or if it's going to happen. 